Hello, welcome to the Ideal Medical Practices Project. I want to walk you through how to get started on your baseline data gathering. First thing you do is to go to idealmedicalpractices.org. That should take you to this page. If there's any problem with that, make sure you've spelled it correctly and try it again. Once you're here, uh, there are several things you ought to do. First is to take a look at breathing room and curriculum document. How to get started. This is going to be important to figure out how you create the space you need to test new and different things. When you click on it, it will download a PDF file. The next thing you want to do is to look on the upper left at the baseline.pdf right here. If you click on that, again, it'll download a PDF file that will begin to walk you through what it is you need to do for baseline data gathering for the project. Most practices are able to do this without a significant amount of work. If you're having any difficulty or it is causing you to do quite a bit of work, stop and get in touch with one of the faculty so that we can uh, walk you through what it is we need without overburdening you. Go down the baseline for ideal medical practices. You'll see some data about other participants and we'll walk you through various steps to get started with the baseline work. First is Having registered, you will have gotten an IP code, and hopefully you've written that down and have your password. If you don't have your password, when you log in, you're given the opportunity to have it emailed automatically to you. Go and use that code and take a howsyourhealth.org online checkup. That will look like this. Here's the How's Your Health homepage. With your IP code, go to Begin your health checkup and enter your code up here on the left. IP, that's my dummy code, and click Start Survey. And you can walk through and it will give you instructions on how to do that. The next step in the work after taking the survey is to ask staff to take the survey as well so that they understand what it is you're going to be asking your patients to do in the practice just to get a feel for what the How's Your Health website is about and then what the online checkup looks like to your patients. We'll be getting into a lot more detail on that during the project. The next step is to go to the section on How's Your Health for Physicians and Businesses and read through some of the material so that you understand what's behind it. Step number four, you'll see some detail in the baseline PDF document walking you through how you customize How's Your Health so that patients can email their action forms to you uh, at the end of their online survey. You'll be asking patients to use the How's Your Health online survey and we'll get into more of that later on. The next step in the baseline work is to fill out the information on the practice demographics, the overhead survey. Again, if any of the questions here cause you an undue amount of work, uh, stop, get in touch with us. We want to make it simple and not a huge burden to you to get this information. The information that you get on the overhead survey as well as on the staff survey will be entered into an Excel file and I'll show you how to get to that document in just a minute. The staff survey you see is here at the bottom of the PDF file. Make as many copies as you have office staff, hand them out, bring them back, and then tally them. Here's where you download the baseline.xls Excel file. Once you download the Excel file, you'll see it pop up in a window like this. If you don't have Microsoft Excel, you'll have to use a computer that does, so you can open this file and look at it. You'll see at the bottom various tabs. The first one for NCQA standards, simple yes or no questions, just fill that out. Practice profile is the next tab. Uh, go to the top and you see simple instructions and again fill them out. Uh, again, if you're running into difficulty with complexity, get in touch with us. Next is the tally form for the office staff survey and the final tab here gives you a place where you can type in comments.
That's it for the baseline information data gathering. Send that file back to us if you have any question how to be in touch with the faculty. Look at the breathing room and curriculum document. You'll find our emails at the bottom. The curriculum you'll see is the last couple of pages. Here's how you get in touch with the faculty. And take a look at the curriculum. This is a very high level overview, but we'll be walking through this in a consistent way during our conference calls. Thank you very much and looking forward to working with you.